And I find I found that to be weird. Like I can't not wonder why didn't they leave the resort area? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hi. We're good. We're gonna be real awkward on camera because we don't normally do videos uh, together. So we're gonna figure this out together with your support. Wanted to, we wanted to react to a video that Tangerine Travels just recently put out. It's called We Love Mazatlan, but is it safe? And uh, we thought this would be good to react to even though we haven't actually been to Mazatlan, right? No, but not yet. Yeah, we plan on going at some point to Mazatlan. I'm sure it'll be a great trip. The difference will be that during that point in time, we'll actually go outside of the resort area. If you guys watch this, this uh, Tandri's travel video, they actually mentioned that they don't really leave the resort area. And let's be clear that this is your, just our experience being there for a week and just staying at the tourist area. I area, mean, they went to the Malacón, so they probably went like a couple of blocks worth outside of the resort area, and that was about it. Yeah, I mean, anytime you're going to like a, a touristy spot, even when we went to Cabo or La Paz or uh, any of those kind of places, Joe was the one who was like, I want to see the real Mexico. I want to see real Cabo. So we didn't stay in a resort and we actually went out and explored the real, the real Cabo, which is really different than the area that a lot of the hotels are in when you go there because a lot of people think of Cabo's beaches and hotels and resorts and things like that, but um, it was actually quite different when we went to, to Cabo. It was like deserty and it was like, when you're not in the touristic section part of it, it was kind of like boring to me, like it was kind of like blah. And per, my, my, my personal opinion, it wasn't anything special, um, but I felt safe. So we met somebody the other night when we were out exploring the town in Talakipaki, Talikipaki, however you say it. Talake Paki. We were, we met somebody who said that she loves Mazatlan. Husband, he is from here. Oh, okay. Sinaloa. Oh. Have you guys been in uh, Mazatlan? No, no we've not yet. It. We've heard it's of it. It's so beautiful over Oh there. man, I it's, can imagine. It's the best. <laughs> and I'm not gonna, I, I don't wanna like sound mean, but it's better than you. Okay. Than she was born there, she lives in the United States, but she can't wait to go back there and she loves it way more than Taliki Paki. Talake Paki. Because it's like this beautiful beach town and she really wanted to be there. That's what put Mazatlan a little bit more on our radar and we thought, all right, maybe one day we'll have to check it out. We thought this was a very interesting video that Tangerine Travels put out because they, they mention Mazatlan and the safety in the thumbnail and, and in the title, but they talk about it for only about like less than probably six minutes out of the entire like 45 minute or an hour video. So we wanted to react to the, the main point of what that video was supposed to be and actually just give our opinion on it because we found it interesting the things that were being said. So a lot of you have been asking about the safety in Mazalan. Is it a safe place to visit? And let's be clear that this is your, just our experience being there for a week and just staying at the tourist area. I mean, the hotel area, uh, Mazatlan Malecon, Mazatlan Downtown, all Las Altas, but nowhere else. And she literally said they didn't go anywhere but the hotel area, the downtown, and the Malecon. Now, Joe and I have never been to Mazatlan, so we can't sit here and tell you if it's safe or not. That's not what the point of this video is. And it's also not to put these people down. We've been following Tangerine Travel for, we've been watching them for years, but the point of this is, is can they talk, sit here and tell you about the safety of Mazatlan if they've only been to the hotel area, the swimming pool, the downtown area, most of the videos in the swimming pool, <laughs> the hotel room, them eating. I mean, it's like, you know, they didn't really go into Mazatlan. She flat out tells you they didn't really explore Mazatlan. Anytime you're in Mexico and you want to know if you're talking about something somewhere safe, you can't just, you know, sit at the resort and be in the swimming pool or just stay at the beach and say, oh yeah, I feel safe here. The more time I spent in the city, the more safe I was feeling. And actually, I don't regret about anything. Or whatever, like you need to really go out and explore. Go out, go away from the Malacone. I mean, the Malacone's great, the resorts are probably great, 
But if you want to know if an area is safe, then you need to not stay in your hotel room, but go out there and explore different parts of the city. Yeah, like they gave this, they gave this disclaimer saying, keep in mind, we've only been here a week. We barely left the hotel. So that's good. They gave you the disclaimer. But the point is, the fact is that you might click on this video. You might see the, the thumbnail. Okay, this is about safety. And then you watch their video and not real, you might not make the connection that they never left because they're talking about all this great stuff. They're enjoying this, they're enjoying that, this and that, this and that. And so you might in your mind just kind of make an association with happiness, fun, and safety, even though they don't, they've never even really left the hotel. So that's what kind of like jumped out at us. And we were like, we've never been there. We can't vouch for the safety, but we did want to talk about the fact that they don't know whether it's safe or not. And that's really what we need to touch on. Don't be fooled into watching this fun video. Not like they're trying to fool you on purpose, but don't be persuaded to believe that because they're having this fun video that they actually can tell you whether or not it's safe. There's zero clue. Zero, zero, zero. As to whether Mazatlan is safe or not based on their experience. We talked to many locals about their experience there and they share some kind of the same opinion that we are going to share with you right now. So she mentioned that they talked to many locals and that's good. I don't know where they really met the locals at the hotel. Like maybe the people who work at the hotel. But I want you to keep in mind if you're talking to locals at a touristic destination they're very likely gonna tell you that yes, of course it's safe because they want more people to come. And not just a touristic destination, but a touristic part of the touristic city. So they're really gonna want you to come, especially on the Malacone, people are always trying to sell you st stuff. When, when we went to Puerto Vallarta, when we went to Nuevo Vallarta, you had people all over the beaches selling things, making money off of tourists, which is what happens, right? But you don't wanna ask someone who works there in the touristic destination if it's going to be safe because number one their view is going to be skewed because they work there so they're spending a majority of their time in a safe area and secondly they want people to come because they're making tons and tons of money your dollar your two dollars your five dollar tip means the world to these people don't just go off of what somebody tells you even if they're claiming to be a local. The best thing that you could do, uh, I suggest, is to do your own research. Research places before you go. And a lot of, I think Americans have this assumption that if you leave the resort, things bad is going to happen to you. And while you do need to take precautions when you're in Mexico, um, just like you would in the US, you know, you just have to use your common sense and, you know, Obviously, if you know an area is not safe, then don't go there. But, you know, a touristic place like this, like, go out, go explore. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but with our videos, they're pretty much very cut and dry. Like, there's so many different travel channels out there, and that's great. You know, travel channels are fantastic. But with a lot of them, they kind of like, I feel personally, I don't know how you feel or how you feel, I feel like they kind of like glorify the travel lifestyle and make everything like magical and make everything like, oh, look at this, this is amazing, oh, oh, check this out, this is incredible, look at the sunset, look at the pool, look at the food. And it kind of gives you a false sense of what that place is. And that's like the last thing we ever wanted to do on this channel and we haven't done it at all, in case you haven't noticed. And the reason why is because we, we, we want to give you more of a raw, real life experience. Brittany and I, we've traveled all, gratefully, we're so grateful, we've traveled all across Mexico so far, and we continue, we want to continue doing that. We do not plan on glorifying any particular place, because if we do that, you're not going to get a real life perspective on what that place is like. So we're real raw with the camera, we're not giving you any, like, we're not, like, forcing smiles on her, not to say that these people are, this is their style and it is what it is. But we're not going to be doing that. We're not going to be happy all the time. We're showing you what life is in the places that we're at. And that's on purpose. So you guys can know what's going on with a real lens in front of your face and not a skewed view. Yeah, we're going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly when we go somewhere. So we're, we're always very transparent with you guys. 
While we were out and about there, something I noticed. Now I want to keep in mind, he says while we were out and about, and all of a sudden you see the big sign. <laughs> so his out and about looks like he's at the Malacone. So keep that in mind. Out and about there, something I noticed is that lots of people were out walking around. They were out on dates. They were out with their family, out with their kids, out with their friends, even like before dark, but especially after dark. So that when you see that when you see all the locals out and about that's a really strong sign that it's a reasonably safe place to be i think it's uh reasonable to say that if you do see a bunch of locals around like T taliki paki over here when we go out at night we see tons of locals around and that's a really really reasonable thing to say that if you see a lot of locals you're probably you know, in a decent place. But keep in mind though, he is in the magic part of the town, right? He's in the touristic part of the town. So don't be like, oh, I'm gonna go experience, Ma experience Mazatlan and be walking around at night in the, in the actual local areas because you don't know what those are gonna be like. Looking at where he's been is kind of like looking at a bubble. You're looking at like a snow globe and everything outside that snow globe, you have no clue what's going on. So don't just expect that Mazatlan, like the title of the video states, you know, is it safe? This is not giving you an accurate representation of safety. No. The more time I spent in the city, the more safe I was feeling. And also, uh, a part of seeing a lot of locals hanging there and doing their normal life, I just realized that there were a lot, or also a lot of foreigners, like people from Canada and the US, and they were making their normal life. And I was like, okay, if these people, and many of them already live there, or been living there for at least two or more years, like are doing their normal lives, I think this this has a reason why. What I want to ask is, how does she know that they've been living there for two or three years? She's never actually told us that. We haven't actually seen on the camera where they've interviewed somebody and said, hey, how long have you lived here? I'm not saying that they're lying because, again, we weren't there with them. We don't know. I'm just saying if, she, if she's going to go on camera and say that, that they should at least show them talking to people who have been living there for two or three years. So that, you know, she's not just like looking at someone and guessing, oh yeah, they look like they, they, they're local, like they've lived here for two or three years. I'm not saying she did that. I don't know. I'm just saying that in the video, I think it would have been helpful if she would have, if they would have included maybe a, a small snippet of an interview or talk the, them talking to someone who's lived there for two to, or three years. Right, because like we don't know if the people who they're visually seeing actually live there or not. Many places in Mexico are, are visited, I mean, think about it, right now it's winter in Mexico. So how do we know that all these people that she saw weren't just visiting Mazatlan because they wanted a nice winter somewhere warm because they're over in a colder area or whatever the case might be? These might not be locals at all. They might actually just be people on vacation. Even if they're Mexican or not, it, it doesn't really matter. Like, okay, I, I better calm down. I better give Mazatlan a chance. Now, she mentioned that she was scared to go to Mazatlan initially, but once they got into the city, she felt better. Why was that? So Mazatlan is in the state of Sinaloa, which doesn't have the best reputation since what happened recently with the whole El Chapo Sun thing. Sometimes when you hear things like that, that happened in that state, so that must mean like, oh, the whole state's like that, but that's not, you know, that's not true. I understand why she was scared. It's an unsafe world that we live in. That's what, that's why she, that's what she was referring to. So, so Mazatlan is basically she, a safe, a safer area within yes. the state of yeah. Sinaloa. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, we haven't been there, but that's what our understanding is. Yeah, and at one point you told me that you were surprised you feel so safe, but as a Mexican here, you hear a lot about kidnappings and uh, bad things happening like that, but being there, like the people were so freaking nice. I could I could not get over how, how nice and friendly and helpful all the people were, and we talked to some of them about what they felt about the safety. They, they just showed um, a picture of maybe talking to like a traffic guard or like a security guard maybe at the hotel. I don't know. I don't know, but just keep in mind though that if you're asking people in a tourist destination, is it safe? They might tell you yes, even if it's not necessarily, not telling you they're lying. What, I'm sure what he said is absolutely right about the people being very nice and very helpful and mm -hmm. stuff. But just remember that 
when you're an American and you go to places like this, people will be very friendly and loving and genuinely kind, but they also see sometimes dollar signs, right? The more of your friends that come, the more likely, like if you asked an Uber driver in Mexico, in, in, in a popular area, is it safe to come here? He's gonna tell you yes. And he might not necessarily be lying, but he might be looking at it from a perspective of, yeah, it's safe, tell your friends to come here because I'm gonna be getting more rides, I'm gonna be making more money, and yeah, it's relatively safe. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. I think what would have really made this video helpful as we, we, we've kept saying is if they would have, you know, actually shown a conversation, not with the audio off of just showing people, but actually showing us, I mean, his girlfriend speaks Spanish. They could have asked very easily, she's Mexican, she could have just, you know, asked somebody, you know, do you think it's safe here outside of right. the Malacone, outside of the resort? Go into the actual, you know, where people actually live. I mean, right. maybe people live by the Malacone, but... And to, you know where the most people live in, in Mazatlan. Right, leave leave the bubble. Yeah. And I find I found that to be weird. Like I can't not wonder why didn't they leave the resort area? I find that to be weird. I don't know. Like why wouldn't you leave the resort area? I mean, maybe they just wanted a vacation inside a resort, in a pool, in this, in that. Maybe they, you know, this is what they wanted to gear their video towards. But I feel like, don't say, is it safe in Mazatlan? You haven't left the resort. You know what I mean? Like, so it, it really, like, I didn't come away with this, watching this, after watching this video, I didn't come away with the feeling of, oh, is it safe in Mazatlan? I got, it's safe in the resort and in the pool yeah. and by the popular areas yeah. by the boardwalk where all the Americans and the Canadians hang out. Yeah, like, we don't, we don't know. So I, I don't we, know. We can't tell you because we haven't been there. Right. And, and so the whole point of this video is it's not to put them down whatsoever. The point is to make you think critically of the, the information that you're getting because I would not want you to just watch this video and be like, oh, yeah, they said it was safe. Even though they gave the disclaimer that they don't really know outside of the resort area – you might brush past that and just think, oh, yeah, it's all good because they went there and, you know, it is what it is. Really, we have no clue based upon this video and this information whether it's safe or not. There, like that one Uber driver, for example. That one Uber driver. Of course, we are not saying that there's no murders, there's no robbery, there's not all of that danger things. Of course, it happens that in all of, like, in all around Mexico, but also in all of the other cities around the world. I mean, that's something that unfortunately is happening happening everywhere. Absolutely. Robberies and murders and horrible things happen all around Mexico. Just like they happen everywhere. I just got a post earlier today on Facebook coming from the neighborhood that we used to live in over back in New York, United States, saying that someone was murdered in a robbery at a, a smoke shop. And it's like, this is over in a good area of the United States. So no matter where you are, you have to understand that the world we live in is crazy. And you're probably gonna find a lot less of that stuff that happened over in New York that I'm just talking about over here in Mexico. You, pre you probably will find a lot less of that. I can imagine here, not to say that it wouldn't happen where there was a murder, I can imagine here some a place getting robbed and nobody getting murdered. That's how I feel. But back there at home, somebody just got murdered at a robbery, so I don't know. However, here in Mazatlan, we had a very good experience. Like, I honestly cannot think a single reason why I shouldn't go back again. She had a very good experience. I want to make clear that if you look at the video, like I said, they're mostly in the pool. They're at the Malacón. So, of course, she had a, a good experience. I mean, she was at a nice hotel. She's at the double tree, like they said. You know, they had the pool that was by the beach and they had the ocean view. So, yes, she had a nice experience in Mazatlan. She's on vacation. <laughs> so, again, it comes down to is this really a fair assessment of m what Mazatlan is? Right. And maybe if you guys have been in some of the local areas, mm -hmm. drop a comment to let yeah. people know. Because I, I do feel like this video was unintentionally misleading and that's what stood out to us after that, because it's like, man, like, did you actually go to Mazatlan or did you go to a resort? 
The resort is in no way, shape, or form a representation of what actual Mexico is like. You can say, yeah, I went to Mexico, but if you were just within the confines of the resort and like the tiny area outside the resort, you didn't go to Mexico. You went to a tourist trap. That's where you went. So let us know in the comments, have you been to Mazatlan? Is it safe? You know, help other people figure this out. And you better know that if we end up going there on a trip, we are going to be exploring the area, driving around, and actually giving you some kind of an assessment of what it's like over there in case you guys might want to move there. You know, if you ended up wanting to move there, you're not going to be living in a resort. You're going to be living in a local area or like some kind of a gated community. So you're going to want to know what it's like outside of that area. By the way, the, in Mexico, generally the more dangerous the city, the more police patrols you're going to see around, the more police trucks or army trucks with people with machine guns in the back you'll see. But there, I think in a week, we saw one, which is very minimal compared to when we drove through Celaya. I just want to say, for example, they talk about Celaya. Joe and I have driven, I think, in that area through Celaya in our trip back in 2021. And Celaya has a reputation of not being safe. So to compare Mazatlan's number of police people to Celaya, which has a reputation of being known to not be like the safest part of Mexico, I think that's kind of... Well, I think that's very unfair, uh, an unfair comparison. Because yeah. because it's going to be unsafe in the other yeah. place that's known to be unsafe. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think he was basically saying, like, we didn't see as many police cars here in Mazatlan, but you're saying, why are you going to compare it to one of the most dangerous places yeah. in Mexico? Okay. Why would you do that? Yeah, okay. Overall, you can tell me if you agree with me, my If you're coming to visit Mazatlan, don't be scared, but come and exercise regular precautions that you would take anywhere and I think you're going to have a very enjoyable time. Yeah, I think it was, it, it makes sense of course, right? Exercise precautions that you would take anywhere, everywhere. That's what you should do, no matter where you are. Uh, exercise those precautions. If something looks seedy, don't go to it. Actually ask people who are like local, who are really local, what the deal is if you're going to be going into local areas and do research online before you go. Do research in Facebook forums. Do research, don't just Google is it safe in Mazatlan. Do research in the Facebook groups. I'm sure there's a Mazatlan Facebook group. Speak to the people who've lived there for a few years now and get an idea of what real, true locals are living like and what it looks like and all that stuff. I really think it was a great video I mean, I, I don't, I'm not like one for the vlog stuff. I think toward the end where they actually kind of touched on the safety, it was good. So at least you know it's safe within the resort area. That's good to know. Of course it will be, right? Or else, you know, whatever. But um, let us know what you guys think in the comments as far as your experience in Mazatlan and whether or not you would recommend it in the actual true Mexico portion of Mazatlan, if that exists outside of, you know, the, the walls and the confines of the safe zone. And again, maybe you're watching this video because you don't really care about if it's safe outside. Maybe you're just thinking about going on vacation to Mazatlan, like just for like a week or whatever. Maybe this video you found helpful, which is, you know, fine. No matter where you go in Mexico, even if you're just going there to vacation, I recommend basically, you know, you don't walk around at night by yourself, keep an eye on your drink no matter where you are, like that someone doesn't put something in it. I just take those basic precautions. Even for safety, like tell tell your friends like where you are for safety, maybe share your location um, on WhatsApp with a trusted family member or a friend and so that they know where you are because, you know, unfortunately sometimes things do happen at resorts and hotels, even in places that you think may be nice. I mean, that may be safe. So, you know, no matter where you are, maybe Mazatlan, Cabo, Cancun, wherever you go, if you're on vacation, just take, like they said, Jordan said, take basic precautions. Yeah, and even if you're going on, like, let's say for like a, a scuba diving uh, ex exploration or something like that, something like group activities, make sure you tell other people in your group what the name of the place that you're going with is, what time you're leaving, where you're meeting, what time you're gonna be back, share your location, and make sure you Google them to check the reviews of the name of the place to make sure they're legitimate. You don't want to be jumping in the back of somebody's truck and they're saying, yeah, we're going to take you to the jungle. 
and you have no clue who they are. This That stuff does happen, so uh, keep yeah. that in mind, too. Basic things that should be common sense, make sure you exercise those common sense basics. And, like, don't dress to impress, so, like, <laughs> don't be walking around with, like, big right. ch- chain necklaces, gold, silver, you know, and... Um, you don't want to, like, stand out. Because, I mean, you're already going to be an American if you're watching this. Maybe you're American or maybe you're Mexican. But if you're an American and you're coming to, like, Mazatlan, you're already going to stand out. You're already going to look like a tourist. So don't give someone an, an added reason to take advantage of you. Because they're already going to be trying to scam you more than likely. I mean, you're going to a beach area. There's a good chance they're going to try to scam you. They're going to try to get you to do something. And you don't want to give them an added reason to take advantage of you in a bad way. Yeah, like I had to really tone it down when I first got to Mexico a couple years ago. But I I had the mindset when I initially got here like, I am who I am, I have what I have, and I'm going to wear what I want wherever I am in the world because I have the right to do that. That is true. You will have the right to do that. But you're also inviting problems, right? So if you go into a modest, humble type of an area and you're dressed to impress, you certainly are going to get charged more for things, right? Without a doubt, you are going to get a different price than the other guy. You will. So you're hurting yourself there, all because you want to wear your stuff or whatever the case is, and you're making yourself a target. So I learned very, very quickly to blend in. Try to blend in. If you want to look like a tourist, no problem, but don't look like a rich tourist. You know what I mean? If you want to walk around how you want to walk around, that's fine. But don't go flaunting stuff. Don't go trying to get attention. Don't feel like, oh, I'm high and mighty and I deserve to wear what I want because this is my world and I get to do what I want. You can do that, but you're, you're putting yourself and whoever you're with at risk. And at the very least, you will be charged more for every single thing that you buy than if you didn't have all that. Yeah. Uh, since you have your frog hat on, I was wondering what a, what a frog says in Spanish. Like when you're a kid, what do you learn that the frog says? I wonder if the frog felt safe. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> See you next time. Everybody, see you next time. Bye.